Hi friends, I have a story to read to you. It's called Always in Trouble. And in this book by Corinne Damas, this dog is always in trouble. And this poor dog doesn't mean to get in trouble, but just sort of has that kind of luck where it keeps getting in trouble. Always in trouble. Always in trouble. Emma's dog, Toby, was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. And on, let's see which way's better. And on Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. Oh, that's big trouble. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. On Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has to be done about this dog, said Emma's mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. Oh, her mom looks very frustrated. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks, she brushed his fur, and she sang him silly songs. Oh, that walk looks a little bit dangerous. Can you see poor Emma being pulled down the street? But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. He was very good on Thursday, and he was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. On Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook, and then he ran across the clean kitchen floor. Oh, Toby, look at him. He's smiling. He's so proud of himself. Something has to be done about this dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. What a great idea, said Emma's mom. Oh, look in the background. Do you see Toby? Look, what's he doing? He's gotten a pillow and he's pulling out the stuffing. Toby. The first class started the next day. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. Some were big and some were little, some barked and some yipped and some growled and some whined. Toby was as quiet as a goldfish. That is very quiet if you are as quiet as a goldfish. He behaved perfectly at school every week. He did everything just right. When Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. And when Emma said heal, he stood right by her side. He was the best dog, said Mrs. Katz, the teacher, when classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a golden seal. Emma's mom tacked the diploma down low on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. But on Monday, Toby got into the garbage. And on Tuesday, he ran into the road. 
On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everyone up. Arf, bark, woof, quiet. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias and Emma and her mom had just planted. Oh, Toby. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has to be done about this dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took him back to dog school. It looks like Emma's trying really hard to get him there. Doesn't really look like Toby wants to go back. Does he sit? asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come? asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal? asked Mrs. Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well then, what's the trouble? asked Mrs. Katz. So Emma told her. I see, said Mrs. Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him with me for the week. Okay, said Emma. Do you think it's gonna work? I hope so for Toby. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. I hope it works. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. This sounds amazing. But no dog can be perfect always, not even Toby. Uh oh, look what happened. Do you see that? There, look like they're at the park. And it looks like, it looks like he dove right through the page. Oh, <gasps> chasing that squirrel, Toby. So that is the story of always in trouble. And I love this book because I don't actually think that Toby always meant to get in trouble, but he sure did find himself in trouble quite a lot. But his family did love him and they did want to help him. And I think at the end, um, things are going much better for Toby and his family. Sometimes that happens though to all of us, right? We didn't mean to do something that got us in trouble, but it happened and we got in trouble and Poor Toby was always in trouble. So hopefully when we make mistakes, we can learn from them too. Okay, you guys have a great day. All right, bye-bye.